Hello everyone, in this video we are actually going to learn how to create the frequency distribution using the people table method. Instead of showing the frequency for the category data, we actually want to see some other information about the category data. So in this case, we want to look at, for instance, we want to see which hotel brand had the highest rate or which hotel brand have the highest uh, minimum rate and which hotel brand had the highest total rate. Right. So to answer that question, we cannot just create it using the count if to see in this data set how many be, uh, West, uh, best West hotel we have in this data set. We are actually are looking at information uh, between hotel brand and the rate. So to address that question, we are using the pivot table method. OK, so in order to use the pivot table method, the very important thing is that especially related to more than one variable, you need to make sure there is no empty columns uh, for within your data set. So now if you look at the data set, I offer you here rating, hotel brand, and the rate. So we actually, between B and the D, there is a blank column, column C. If I, <clears throat> so I can show you in column C, it is blank. So you have to delete this column before you select your data. So let me delete this column first. So after you delete the column, so there is no blank column anymore. So now we can start to selecting data. Although we only looking for the relationship between hotel brand and the rate. So the best practice is to select all the variable you have and they just give you that kind of flexibility. Okay. Let me select all 640 observations I have here, uh, 50, uh, six, 649 observations I have here. So the second place you need to pay attention is that when you select your data, uh, if you want to use a pivot table method, all uh, the row that is for labels has to be included. Okay. So after you including your first row and all your data set, and then go to the insert tab, click the insert tab, and then choose pivot table. So after you select pivot table, and then since you already select the data before you select your uh, pivot table. So the data you needed already including here. And I also like uh, creating new worksheet for my pivot table instead of using the existing worksheet. So I'm just using the default setting new worksheet. And then I will click OK. So now you will be able to see a new tab creating on your uh, data set. And then what you need to do now is that uh, first, uh, as I talking about, we want to understand the hotel brand characteristics. So therefore, on the right hand side in the pivot table field, I'm identify the variable called a hotel brand, right? And then uh, on the top section, and uh, I left click the mouse and then uh, hold it and drag it down to rows. Okay. So after I do that, as you can see in the row section here, I had hotel brand. At the same time, on the right, left hand side in my Excel area. I was able to creating a column of unique hotel brand. So Best West Hotel, Choice Hotel. So basically among this 649 observation, I have four different brand of hotels in my data set. So now to answer the question, which hotel brand has the highest average rate? So I need to information about the rate. <clears throat> so what I need to do is I will click the rate and uh, hold it and uh, left click the rate, hold it and drag it down to values. Okay. So after you do that on the left hand side, you can see you immediately creating the second column for your frequency table, right? So you can notice that uh, here is no longer our uh, the count for the uh, hotels. Instead, it is the sum of the rate. If we want to know the average rate by hotel instead of the sum of rate, what we need to do is we go back to the value areas. So there is a little arrow and I will click the little arrow. And then there is an option called the value field setting. And I will click that value film setting. So after I do that, I will, uh, so by default, we use sum. That's why we see the sum of rate. I want to adjust it to average. So if I choose average and then click OK. So now all the number I see in the cell here are actually is the average rate per hotel, right? So basically 
Best Western Hotel, the average rate is $94. And then the Choice Hotel average is $143. So if we want to identify which hotel give us the highest rate, of course, you can eyeball in to see, oh, of course, it's a Hilton Worldwide because that's the highest average rate. How, how, how about you have so many, a hundred different brands, instead of go to look at one by one, maybe we can sort my data or sort my pivot table by the average of rate. So can we do that? So the answer is yes. <clears throat> so to sort my pivot table by the second column instead of the uh, the label alphabetically, we need to do, what we need to do is go to your pivot table, there's a little arrow, click that little arrow. And then instead of choosing sort A to Z or Z to A, because that's alphabetical sorting your labels, we actually need to sort more sort options. So after you click more sort options, what we need to do is we need to either use ascending or descending, it doesn't matter, we, will, we can use ascending. So by default, they are using the labels. We need to change that to here, average of rate. And then we click OK. So now ascending means you're from the smallest value to the largest value based on average rate. But uh, you can identify the Hilton worldwide or have the highest average rate and the best Western hotel have the lowest average rates. Okay, now how about instead of average rate, I want to understanding is which hotel brand have the highest minimum rate. So to do that, I just need to change the average of rate to the minimum of the rate, right? So I go into the value section and then click this little icon again, <clears throat> this little arrow, and then choose value field setting. Instead of average, I will choose mean now. So that's giving me the minimum rate. And then I click OK. So uh, my data is still sorted by the second column at this point, so I don't need to redefine again. But now, based on the minimum rate, so we can find the La Quinta Inn actually had the highest minimum of rate. And the Best Western Hotel had the minimum of the minimum of the rate. So this is uh, based on the minimum of the rate. So how about you want to identify uh, among this 649 observation, which hotel brand have the highest total of the rate? So to do that, the total means the sum. We just need to change the minimum of the rate. We go back to minimum of the rate here again, click the arrow, uh, select the value field setting, change that to sum. So the sum means total, right? Sum means total. And then you can click OK. So now we can see that uh, the Hilton Worldwide give us the highest total of the rate. In the Best Western Hotel give us the lowest, um, lowest total rate. Okay, so this is the how you can do a more sophisticated frequency table for category data or even for quantitative data later we're gonna look at too. But you just need to make sure how to best use our pivot table. And then another fan uh, cool thing for the pivot table is that if you double click any of the value here, you actually can see the detail information about the observation belong to that cell. So now let me uh, <clears throat> uh, change this back to average because that's make more sense. So let me change in the value to average and I click OK. So how about you want to see, OK, uh, we know on average on uh, the West, uh, the best Western hotel is 94.97. So, but we want to know more detail about each individual best, uh, West, uh, uh, best Western hotel. What you need to do is finding this value, left double click the sales. That will open a new tab for you. But you can see in that new tab, everything listed here is only about West, a uh, best Western hotel, right? So basically, the average rate we see is the average of all these values. Okay, so this is the pivot table. It's very powerful and I hope you are enjoying this video. Bye.